This is a Swiss Indonesian collaboration workshop um, supported by the uh, Swiss National Force. And we could invite eight gynecologists and uh, three pathologists from Indonesia, very successful at their own medical faculties overall uh, in Indonesia. And uh, this brings together research, clinical management, and yeah, future perspectives of, of research. And if you compare endometriosis, which uh, is, a, is a very uh, quality of life uh, disturbing and threatening disease worldwide, um, we have also an association in cancer. And regarding the two countries, Switzerland and Indonesia, there are of course some similarities, but there are also um, significant differences. And uh, I'd like to show you some very interesting differences like, uh, regarding cancer. This is a paper pu published this year in Lancet Oncology of endometriosis associated ovarian cancers, which are the mostly important cancers associated with endometriosis. And there you find some special subtypes, which are the more rare cases in ovarian cancer. And you find especially the clear cell carcinomas with a threefold increased risk for them and the endometrioid, endometrioid carcinomas and the low-grade serous carcinomas. So if we look about, if, if we regard the uh, incidence of ovarian cancer in Western countries, and here for example the statistics of Germany, you will see there's a, a peak around age 80 to 84 in the ovarian cancer. So usually ovarian cancer patients in European countries are quite old. Well, it starts with 20 or 30. We ha see these young patients, but they are quite rare. And more than 70% of patients present at stage three and stage four with ovarian cancer here in the Western countries. And there's only one good paper from Jakarta available with the database regarding ovarian cancer incidents in Indonesia. And the, what you see is that about 50%, more than 50% of patients with ovarian cancer um, present, and it's carcinoma, not only cancer, ovarian ca uh, carcinoma present at stage one and two. And the other point is that these patients are in the majority about 20, 25 years younger than our patients in the average. So more than 50% or about 50% of patients are between 35 and 45 patients. Of course, there's a bias because older patients like 70-year-old or 80-year-old patients are quite rare in Indonesia and there's a tendency towards not undergoing surgery in elderly patients in Indonesia because they have to pay for their uh, surgery on their own until the one year ago. Um, so now there's a, the shift, a paradigm shift to treat patients in Indonesia because now uh, treatment is covered by the government and the insurance, but we have still these markedly differences in the incidence and the subtypes of ovarian cancer. And the interesting thing might be that we have much more endometriosis associated cancers in Indonesia. We are regarding the development of endometriosis and cancer as a process over decades of years. So it's very difficult to follow up our patients and to combine our knowledge with the clinical data. And this, this might be very interesting to look in Indonesian patients where this might occur much more quickly than compared to our patients. So this workshop will introduce um, standardized surgical methods for all and will also introduce a database, an oversee database, collecting data from Indonesian centers here in a server in Bern, and then we can do research from each center on this database with a tissue banking centralized in Indonesia. This may, might be very interesting for future times, and we might get more insight in the development of ovarian cancer from arising from endometriosis. Mm -hmm.